What is up, Rec Tech family? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock on a Wednesday, and that means it's time for another episode of Barbecue. But uh, we have St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. If you've been following along with us this week, you know that our theme is, of course, Irish food. And if you've ever seen me without a hat, you know that there's red hair under here. So I am particularly excited to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Madeline and Shannon have an awesome spin on a traditional Irish recipe. So let's do it. day here in Evans, Georgia, right? Yeah, it's yes. gorgeous. I mean, what, last week it was cold. This week it's warm. Make up your mind. Make up your, I'm Go sure next week, mad. I'm sure next oh. week we're going to be standing there. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Hey, Amanda. St. Patrick's I mean, Day. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. It's not your time yet. I know, I know. I just want to surprise you with an Irish brunch shot. Ooh, what's oh an, okay, goodness. Irish brunch Ooh. shot, she said. She's not mic'd up, but what? No, she'll come on. She's going to explain it. Oh, you explain it. later? I will. So we get two tr two visits from you? Yeah, drop it down in the comments what you think an Irish brunch shot is. Delicious, because that's what it is. I'm so not going to take this whole thing. Double Okay. Cheers. All right. Cheers. St. Patrick's Day. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to take the whole wow. thing. Wow. So good. Yeah. So good. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you, Amanda. That one will Thanks, disappear Amanda. behind the scenes for sure. <laughs> I'll let Amanda finish that oh, one. Oh, that was good. Oh, well, that was a nice surprise. Who is like excited for St. Patty's? Me. That me. That me. really good. I can't yeah, that, was, that really was really good. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, we were talking about it earlier. We got St. Patty Day's, pa St. Patty's yeah. Day on our barbecue I know, Wednesday I'm so next excited. Wednesday. And we were talking about our recipe. It's going to be great. But this recipe, we're yeah. super excited about. We changed last minute. We called it Audible. We, we were did. nervous about the original recipe. And so we're going to do something that's, we're not always confident, but we need to be a little bit <laughs> yeah. confident and we were not confident. This one I think is really going to, if you're celebrating St. Patty's Day just at home with your friends, I think that this is going to be your one thing that you want to go to. Yeah. They used to do a parade in our town and of course they're kind of, they're getting more back mm -hmm. into the regular yep. things, but there's no parade this year, which I'm very disappointed because Christmas, other than Christmas, St. Patty's is my absolute favorite yeah, holiday. Yeah, St. Patty's is a it's lot on a of fun. Wednesday, which is meh, but whatever. It's yeah, fun. but it's always fun. We'll still celebrate. We'll have a yeah. hard Thursday, but it's okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so today we are making bangers <laughs> and mash with <laughs> a Guinness onion gravy. Oh my gosh. Good. I, so so good. we got a little nervous because we were like, is this British? Is this Irish? But <laughs> we did our research. We did our research. <laughs> <laughs> so don't hate on us in the comments if you're like, that's a British recipe. Do y'all like Guinness? I want to know that because apparently, apparently it's delicious. And even if you don't like Guinness, I'm not the biggest dark kind mm. of, you know, but mm -mm. it's an acquired taste. Yeah. So it we're is using, um, is this the regular? No, this is, like so this is one. the cream. I think we the one time we need grab the, the one time we need Jordan and he's not out here. We're using yeah, Jordan, the you creamy. Is it the regular? So this is not what we need. Oh, it's okay. Jordan <laughs> messed up. So y'all just give Jordan some crap down Hashtag in the comments, please. Jordan Hashtag messed Jordan up. messed up. Yeah. We're doing a giveaway later. We might yeah. as well make that the giveaway. Hashtag Jordan messed <laughs> up. <laughs> he just walked back. He out. just walked back. Wait, Do Jordan. You mind? What kind is this? Regular candy. No. You. Creamy. Is it smooth and creamy? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so. All right. Anyways. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Again, I don't drink Guinness, and I think yeah. now it's pretty obvious. <laughs> yes. All right, let's get going. <laughs> All right. We're excited. What's first? What's All right, first? so we're going to work on the patties. Guinness onion gravy mm. right now. So right now we have been, y'all saw us just back here right before the show. Sure, if you want to come on in here, we've been caramelizing some onions. So what we did was we mm. put about two tablespoons of butter in there. We also put a little bit of olive oil. We, Madeline cut the onions because I think we she all know I'm not the She likes to make me cry every yes. Wednesday. And then we put some heifer dust. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in some of the flour. 
to make our roux. And Shannon, you when you showed me this recipe, it was not originally on Hoagie Rolls, but we're gonna do something different yes. because you know it's a rag tech lifestyle. Yes. Uh, so my previous job, we did this recipe and we did it on Hoagie Rolls because I worked at a baseball team. And this is just something easy that if you're wanting to do something like walk around, you don't want to have a stew with you or yeah. whatever. This is like such a, a good recipe. Yeah, a plate. Put it in a hoagie roll and just enjoy it. I mean, if I'm on St. Patty's Day and I'm eating, I'm probably bar hopping. So I would love to have something yeah. just like on right? the to go. On the go. So this is perfect. Well, or in the backyard, hanging out with somebody. Well, just think about it. You got it in one hand and you got your Guinness in the other. Yeah. Oh, perfect. that's exactly true. So, um, all right. So what, now what uh, we're temperature are you at, Shannon? Right now I'm cooking at 450. I've had these on. We uh, made some potatoes before and uh, we just left it on at 450. And as you can tell, this thing is rolling perfectly right now. So Delicious. next next, what we're gonna add in is we're gonna add in the Guinness. So this is two cups, so just one Guinness is gonna do it. Can you use any kind of Guinness? Um, like I know that, that's what we were talking about earlier, we we're confused, but yeah. there's like the blonde and the creamy and the right like. Hmm. Yeah, so this recipe actually called for the blonde, but in all seriousness, I feel like you could probably get away with the regular Guinness too, go, don't you oh, think? Yeah, go original. Yeah. Go, yeah. So then you're just gonna add in about uh, just two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Super simple. Smells I smell so that good. Guinness. It does, y'all. I don't even know what it is about onions the caramelized on a rectech. <laughs> Between the smoke and like the pellets, the Kingsford pellets we're using, the smoke and yes. the sm it's, oh my, yeah. I can't. My favorite smell. Wh okay, smell Elon that. Musk, when are we gonna get yes, smell a smell vision, <laughs> please? Yeah, let's tag make Elon it Musk if you can please. right now in the comment section. Go ahead, tag him. And then we're gonna add in some Worcestershire. Mm, not Dale's this time. Not we got Dale's. The real stuff. We, Greg you got said us some. it perfectly. I think I've tried it once in my life and succeeded. Yes, Worcestershire. And then we're gonna add in some sugar. Ooh. Wow, I wouldn't expect that. I right? know, right? So we're gonna add in some sugar. And then could you have made the bins? Absolutely. So then it calls for salt and pepper, but as y'all know, go ahead and just drizzle it on in there. Oh, Mal. you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Um, yeah, it, it asked go. for crazy. There we go. Um, it added asked for salt and pepper, but obviously we would rather use bins. It's gonna give a little bit more flavor. Now look at that. that Super simple. Good. I mean, the <sighs> onions probably took about 15 minutes. Now we're just gonna let this all come together. How That's long do you think? Another like five, ten? I would say five to ten minutes, something like that. Mm. But as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up. That gravy is going to be so, so good. good. It smells so sausage. good, y'all. Holy moly. We got a comment? Olivia? No, no, I was gonna Question. say, you guys, um, tell us where you're watching from. Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful spring day. Smash What's that it like? share button. Smash that share button. We have loyal followers, but we need new ones. Yes. Tag someone who doesn't know about Rex. I'd love yeah. to know about that. Y'all, right now, okay. Well, it's International Women's Month, too. Exactly. This is the show of the month. International. Me hanging, go ahead and high five her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> I turned um, my head. <laughs> but I was going to say, again, this is awesome because it's an all-girls show. If y'all are just tuning in for the first time, um, we are the only all-girls show. We do have some males behind the scenes, but, you know. They're fucked. But at the same time. I'm just kidding. joking. <laughs> we appreciate everybody yeah. who helps make this a success because yeah. we are the most – untrained, yeah, unculinary right. skilled, was, but yeah. we are y'all at home. We're learning from the same people. And again, you saw Amanda earlier, she brought us shots. And if you're wondering, because Amanda and Tess tend to go back and forth, if you're wondering where Tess is, Tess is actually in a, what would you call it? A, a customer, uh, yeah, a an customer employee? service. A yeah, it's yeah. a mock academy. A so mock academy. Once you, if you've ever called in to our customer service, we love seeing those comments about how great they are. Well, they're actually learning right now about how to trim that brisket. So whenever you're calling about that, it's not like, oh, let me go get a chef. <laughs> they're over there and they're asking. They're able they're, to help they're you. Learning. They're actually probably more knowledgeable than us. Yes. <laughs> not really, but. No, not really. <laughs> but really, um, that academy is awesome. Again, we are always um, looking for dates. Yep. We're gonna release the 2022 dates. Go over to rectech.com. Make sure you put in your information at the bottom of the screen. You can sign up for our newsletter. You'll know everything going on at RecTech here. Mm -hmm. Everything Absolutely. that's new, new products. RecTech and why Fest, wouldn't you want to know? Movie night, everything. Why wouldn't you want to know about? You didn't hear that. What? RecTech Fest, RecTech Fest. Oh, Rec yes. Tech Just a little No, they can know that. Rec it's like if you want to know year. anything about our events or what we've got going on, Academy and social media, you can follow us on social media all day, but some yep. things are exclusive. To 
so go on there. The newsletter. The, that's why we call it insiders, guys. Yeah. If insiders. you want to be insiders. Yes. All right, fine. But I'm going to go before, ahead. Before you start, make sure you ma smash that share yes. button. For sure. We got a great recipe going on. That gravy's looking great. Mm. Now we're going to get on to great. some sausage. So let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> Don't go to the grocery <laughs> store as a female <laughs> and look Violet. at two men in the eyes and say, do you have banger sausage? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Because I did that today. <laughs> Madeline, yeah. you dirty. Hey, and um, <laughs> I mean they had banging sausage, I'll tell you that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they did not have the right. Throw the sausage on. <laughs> the they grill. didn't have the right one. So you got which kind did you I get? I got just Italian sausage. This is the hot and this is the mild. And all I'm gonna do this is gonna be really really hot, y'all. It's on riot mode. It's at four. It's at 749 degrees. Um, so this oil is gonna. Whew, and get very hot very quick and smoke wow. up, but that's okay. We're going to let that do its thing for a second. I'm just going to literally throw this sausage on. Ah! Was that supposed to happen? No, it wasn't, but that's okay because that's how hot. Put that. it in there anyways. <laughs> I'm going to let it cool yeah, down. We just, just close that. Cool so um, if that ever happens, quick thing to do. Easiest thing to do. Close the, the lid. All a fire does is oxygen. Needs oxygen, so you just take away the oxygen. Yeah. And then we're going to throw it back on there. I'm going to turn it down to 500. Right mode was just too much today. Yeah. Right mode was. It was on there for like 30 minutes. Yeah. We're not going to cook on that. So we're going to move this over. <laughs> so yeah, the Use bullseye the gets really hot in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> yeah, hottest pellet girl on the market. You want to see her steak? No problem. But it's fine. So we're going to do we'll this hot sausage bowl. right here on the side. Plenty of room. Yep, plenty of room on the 340. Hey, speaking of the 340, Speaking of the 340, Jane and Madeline, the 340, the good thing about that 340 is it is on special right now in case you are looking to get a Rectech right now. We are, we've got a great special going on. You can get that 340 with 220 pounds of I'm gonna throw a screaming pig right on top of the sausage. 220 quick, pounds of the sale. pellets for $6.99. And that what? is way cheaper than the mm -hmm. retail price guys just check out our website you're gonna see just how much money you can save on a bunch of pellets and the best little portable grill that we offer yes but again just through Italian sausage if you have banging sausage that's awesome go ahead to your grocery store grab that um, that's gonna cook for about 12 to 15 minutes I'm gonna do about six minutes on each side flip it and then um, that roux will be about done yep. but again that was gonna be on a cast iron our <laughs> bullseye was running hot it does max out at 749 we've seen it way over hotter yeah, than that probably so there's no telling that. Yeah. that was on there for a while we need an oil thing. and grease is the only thing that can catch fire in the grill because it is all stainless steel don't forget that more stainless steel than anybody else on the market all the way down to our hardware mm -hmm. so we don't skip a beat when it comes to quality and standard of the grill itself so yeah. you've got stainless steel even on the logo down to the handles mm -hmm. Pretty much everything but the controller. And mm -hmm. the controller is the best on the market as well. So again, tag someone in the comment section that needs a rec tech, doesn't know about rec tech. We want to expand the rec tech family as much as we can all the time. For sure. Do you need to open that for your roux or you think it's good? I mean, we could take a check on it. Let's check the roux. Let's check on the roux. In the meantime, oh, I'd yeah. love to get Amanda back on here. That was hey. a good shot. I'd love more. It is thickening up. Nice. That's the perfect consistency. That's what you want to get. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Looking scrumptious. And then just so y'all know, while we're waiting for Amanda, we already had some potatoes made. Ooh. We made some potatoes. We didn't do instant. Y'all may be thinking, oh, y'all definitely did instant. No. No, we didn't. Okay. We did our own potatoes. There's a whole pro oh, those smells. They those smell so good. So, so good. we just had the regular potatoes. We put a little bit of Ben's and a little bit of Ron's in there. Perfect. Right? And some butter and milk, right? Butter, well, milk. Your way, how you you guys know how potatoes. Come on. Yeah, we didn't want to Unless you are an instant that. person out there, I mean, we understand. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Love you. Oh, wait, are those shot glasses for shots or are they shots well, for the Well, I have drink? to demonstrate how to make a Irish brunch because, I mean, some Because I'll take another. Okay. We'll <laughs> <Just deal. laughs> so, y'all, that was really easy. And we're actually using the same ingredients that's going to go into our cocktail today, which is an Irish theme all around. So, I'm not sure if y'all have ever had Irish breakfast before, but basically it's the same concept. We just put a little dirty girl twist on it. Hence, an Irish brunch. I'll take it. I'll take right. one every day. That was the it. way to start 
any the show, show <laughs> any day. <laughs> All right, so for the shot that y'all saw us take earlier, we're gonna actually take our little bit of ice into a shaker. Um, today we are working with Slain Irish Whiskey for both our shots and our cocktails. Um, get you some. I'm uh, usually a Jameson drinker, but I think I've turned to Slane officially. Oh, I did enough really? breakfast yeah, shots one time. Good. I can't do any more, but that was so good. So I'm on, okay. on this. So not everybody knows how to properly measure. You don't have a jigger at home. So I'm just going to show you all quickly in a shot glass. You want about that much of your Irish whiskey. And then we're going to take our butterscotch schnapps. It's a liqueur, flavored liqueur. And then you're just gonna kind of top it with that. And then you're gonna put it in your shot glass with ice. And I'm just like demoing one shot yeah. right now because you know we already took some. Yeah. Unless y'all want some more. Oh no no no. I'm good. <laughs> Thank um, you. You can use orange juice or you can do fresh squeezed oranges like I did. So I cut it down for you, Sherp, so I don't um, get you today. I don't know if y'all missed. Oh. All right. <laughs> Sharp is looking at me like, don't you dare, don't you dare. If y'all caught the past uh, couple. Don't make me walk away again. <laughs> at barbecues, they're quite entertaining. I've cried enough cutting oranges, <laughs> I mean, cutting oranges, cutting, <laughs> cutting onions and listening to you talk makes me cry. <laughs> one's ter <laughs> one's a funny cry, one's, you know, a painful cry, but yeah, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to make. So you that cry. was fresh orange. That's why yeah. it was so good. I like fresh orange. Um, you can use regular orange juice if you want, but obviously to make this for a regular Irish breakfast shot, you usually do just all orange juice. Today we're gonna make it an Irish brunch and add a little bit of sour mix to it. Yeah. yeah. DGMixers.com. DGMixers.com, and then you're gonna take your shot right here, shake it. This is your um, slain Irish whiskey with the butter. Scotch schnapps, strain, and then there you go, Irish brunch. There's one in the elevator. Cheers. Yum. Anybody wants this? I mean, there you, go, Madeline. you know, <laughs> you know me. I'll take half of it. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> that was we have to go back to work after this, so yeah, I don't want to get too too saucy. And then we gotta All work right. out later. Then we have to work out because I have been skipping. Y'all have this to week. work out later. <laughs> we <laughs> yeah. have to. All right, for our cocktail, this is going to be called a Frisky Irish Whiskey. Ooh, you found the name. I found the name. That's right. So um, I'm making two cocktails today. I already have two made, so I'm going to actually take our Dirty Girl um, Margarita Salt Rimmer right there, and I mixed it with some gold sugar to give it that nice look. Um, so basically, if you want to rim your glass, you need something tacky that's going to stick. So I'm using simple syrup today. I'm just going to kind of put it on this plate. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, um, I'm just going to sip on the rest of this shot. <laughs> yeah, just take it, <laughs> Madeline. Not. You act like you don't know how to take shots. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to... The world knows I know how to take shots. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to kind of rim the glass with the sour, or not sour, our simple syrup, and then we're going to dip it into our margarita and gold sugar to give it that St. Patrick's flair. Yeah. Be festive over here. Y'all, drop in the comment section, what are you doing for St. Patty's Day? I want to know what you're cooking. You know, it's usually the corned beef. It's, or yeah. what is it? Is that what corn it's called? Corned beef. There's a lot of lamb. Yeah. A lot of beef Just stew, yes. lamb, all that going on. Shepherd's pie Shepherd's is my pie. Fave. Greg made a great one on lunch break. Oh, Jordan, yes, Irish nachos. <laughs> all Twitter right, so tweets, guys. Don't forget it. So I know a lot of people like to put, like, food coloring and stuff to their drinks, make it very obnoxiously green and stuff. We're not going to do that today because that kind of stuff gives me a headache. Well, and yeah. it also turns your whole mouth green. Exactly. You want a green mouth, you know? You want to try to look a little cute yeah, on St. Patty's Day. Yeah. You know? okay. We're not the Grinch. Yeah. This is the closest <laughs> thing to Christmas. So basically, we're going to take, um, so our green today is going to be some fresh mint. And I'm going to try to make this as green as possible. So I'm going to put a good bit in there. I love mint. Me too. I think I've only had mint in like mojitos. I don't know about other drinks, but I also am not very yeah. aware of how to, I'm not a mixologist. That's why we got you Anybody here. can be a mixologist. <laughs> All right, so once again, we're using Slain Irish Whiskey today, and we're going to make two drinks right now. So I'm going to do three ounces of that. And then we're going to take some syrup, and we're going to do 
half an ounce or one ounce, so times half an ounce or one ounce of that. And then we're gonna do our Dirty Girl Sour okay. Mix. It's very versatile, it's Whoa. made with real sugar, and yeah, you can make so many cocktails. If you're mm -hmm. not following TikTok, Erica's got like 100 videos right now. She's she's no, she's good. killing it over there. I'll go home and so I'll look at, I'm like, what do I want to drink? I'll go to Dirty Girl TikTok and then bam, she's got a new one for me. That's right. Before we add our sour mix though with our um, slain Irish whiskey and our simple syrup, we are just going to muddle it with that mint and break it up as much as you can to the enhance the flavor of this cocktail. Ball. What are y'all drinking for St. Patty's Day? Yeah. Drop it in the comments. I want to know. I need some more ideas. Because I, I think we're going to be drinking all day Wednesday, right? Yeah. I oh, mean, if yeah, yeah. What are we doing, I mean, Madeline? <laughs> let's do a rec tech pub crawl. Yeah, we're going to do a pub crawl. It's going to be fun. Should we downtown? Yeah, let's do it. Y'all, come to local in North Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> come to Augusta um, downtown, and you'll catch some rec tech people pub crawling around. Oh that so smells good. so good. Y'all, I was trying to keep my mind there, <laughs> and I was, like, smelling this. All right, then we're going to add okay. ice. We're going to add our sour mix. We're going to do one more sour. They're going to give it a good shake and strain. Where's the top for this? What you looking for, girl? Oh, right here. Yeah. All right, and then give it a good shake. Yes. Y'all, this smells so good. It smells so good. It smells Irishy. It does. All right. Then once that is done, we're going to strain it into our gold rim glass. Ooh, Look at good. that. And like there's a little color. bit of green flakes in it to kind of yeah. give it that Irish theme, but it's not obnoxious. All right, and where's ours at? Here you go, ladies. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Let's Jordan. see. You have yours? It looks so good. Yeah, I forgot that I Let's get Olivia in here. Coming. Yeah. And cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> this is <laughs> Olivia's like, screw it. I'm just going to. Our favorite redhead. Cheers, y'all. Our favorite Irish girl. Wow. Oh, yeah. Girl. Oh, that's good. I yep. can taste that mint. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. If very you guys like mint, you need to Irish definitely whiskey. try this out. Even if you don't like mint, it's not too overwhelming, but you can, yeah. like, it's like a clean, smooth. It's yeah. good. If you don't like whiskey, this is good. Yes, there's Irish whiskey in this. Yeah, All right. See, I don't like whiskey. I couldn't even tell. All right. So, thank while you, Amanda, Amanda You're was demoing her drinks. I went ahead and I pulled off this Jameson onion gravy. Oh my goodness. It thickened up perfectly. We're almost done with those sausages. And what we'll do, we'll easily just pull these hoagie rolls right out, put a nice sausage in there, mashed potatoes and yeah. gravy. Sounds easy peasy. Those, ma those are almost done. Um, Again, if I was going to cook them on the cast iron, they were going to just do about a couple minutes each side. But because they're at, I put it up to 480. I'm just going to cook it hot. An internal for pork, because this is pork, we're going to do uh, 145. Chicken, you know, is 165. Beef is could be anywhere from 125, 115 up for what you like. So honestly, cook to what you want. And on that Rectech, I know someone had asked out there, how do you say Rectech? It is Rec tech um i mean they look perfect right they're going yeah and that 340 is keeping temp remember guys we've got a sale going on that right now along with our pellet bundle as well whenever you purchase a different grill 220 pounds it's a great deal go on our website check that out this is jody's go-to for mm -hmm. football season tailgating season that's coming up you know so you these legs are actually collapsible it does come standard with this bottom shelf i don't know if you guys sure show them that bottom shelf you see it that does come standard. You take that off, collapse those legs. It's just two quick little pulls of the legs. And then you can tailgate on the back of your tailgate. Or, you know, you can keep it on. You could even cook tabletop at a picnic. Yep. Like, whatever you want to mm -hmm. do. I'm going to spray these with, you know, I can't believe it's not butter. Spray butter. So convenient. It's so convenient. I like convenient. And I'm going to just toast them first. Toast them just set. for literally a second. And then we are going to dig in. Yes. I'm starving. I'm so The hungry. gravy looks amazing. And y'all, I'm usually doing gravy and instant mashed potatoes. I'm not going to lie. But that was the quickest I've seen gravy cooked and mashed potatoes cooked on a Rectech 
Yes. So yeah, don't no. don't skip. Don't cheat. Just do it. You can do it. It'll be so much better. Thank you. We are using those Kingsford Classic pellets. It's a perfect blend of the hickory, cherry, and oak. And honestly, those Kingsford pellets, they are just one of a kind, 100% hardwood, no binders, no fillers. If you haven't checked them out yet, please go do. They are delicious, very <laughs> little ash. The ash in that one, it's about the same as a Coke can, in case you're wondering. Go check them out, okay. Kingsford. <laughs> Great partners of ours. Go check them out. All the shout outs and new bags. Yeah, look at them new bags. Whenever you see these bags, you'll see a shout out to Rectech on the back. We got our 700 on the back. So whenever you go get your Kingsford pellets, make sure you look at that. Kingsford take is a the official fuel of Rectech. Mm -hmm. And Rectech's the official grill of Kingsford. Mm -hmm. Get in there, Sharp. Look at all. Let's not, not the bread. No one cares about the bread. That's just carbs. Look at all that. Mm. Banging sausage. Looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious. I did not have an awkward morning at Publix at all asking for that. That looks so good, y'all. Oh, oh, my right. goodness. And again, like we said, going to be easy serve. So we're just going to literally put our buns on our quick, easy just Let's go paper. Ahead. Yeah. Pull this off. Literally, those were on for like 15 seconds and yeah. they're perfectly toasted. Yum. Got two extra. I'm gonna put them over here. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy this off. This looks phenom. All right, guys. Straight into cool down mode. The sausage kind of shrunk up a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> don't even, don't even entice me right now, Madeline. I've already gotten way too much trouble in the last couple episodes. <laughs> now let's see. Let's go ahead and we will put some mashed potatoes. You gonna put some potatoes on top? Yeah. Top it with some gravy. Uh -uh. Everybody yes. in the back, behind the scenes, is dying right now. They want yes, some. Yes, it's gonna be. My favorite thing y'all made so far. Really? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's it gonna be delicious. delicious. This is a really good twist on some bangers and mash. Right. Super easy if you have kids at home. Let me just say that that was quick. Easy, well, and it's not going to be a e hard cleanup. Well, and you know, the thing is, is if you're worried for the kids about the Guinness, you can honestly make two and not put the Guinness <laughs> in it. Just make a regular gravy, right? Or you could put the Guinness in it and get your kids to bed early, whatever you yeah. want. <laughs> you could do that I don't know what well. you <laughs> I don't but know. I mean, that's why I don't have kids, guys. All right. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of this gravy. That's what I'm excited for. Yes. A we're lot. just talking about how much we love onion. And I can eat it raw. I know people that can eat it like an apple, mm -hmm. but yes. I love some cooked caramelized onion. Look at that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Guys, it looks so good. And we got vultures over here just waiting. Just so you know, there are people lining up <laughs> just to get some. Yeah, this looks stupid good. <gasps> We're gonna have to make more after this. Y'all, when yes. we get off air, sometimes we have to go and recook <clears throat> the entire meal just so we can, you know, fulfill everybody's little bellies. And just remember, guys, that we will be dropping this recipe. recipe into our barbecue Facebook page. So make sure you go on and you request to join. Do you guys mind if I announce the winner? Do it. Go ahead. I'm okay. just going to put some green onions All right, what are they winning today, Madeline? All right, today they're winning the Dirty Girl Margarita Mix That's from right. last week that we used for our drink. And we're always going to give away what we pretty much what we've helped you prepare so you can make this meal at home. And then also a Bloody Mary mix yes. of their choice. So yep. you've got classic, mild, or hot. Um, we're going to do the zip-up jacket that is mm -hmm. not available anywhere but rectech.com. It's retail for, like, I think, $75. Um, yep. And then heifer dust, which we use today. So all you had to do was hashtag rectech lifestyle and share it using that hashtag. Let your family and friends know. You know, you want to live the rec tech life. Oh, my. I'm so distracted. <laughs> I am so distracted. But, guys, the winner of all that I just said is Logan Bruce. Logan. Yay. Congrats, Logan. Logan, please go ahead. Hey, message Logan. into rec tech, our main Facebook page, and we will be happy to get that sent out to you right away. Um, but you know what? What do we want to give away today? Um, Let's see. What do you think? I think the Dirty Girl shirt, of course, that Jordan's Definitely. wearing. Jordan, you want to come on and show it? Oh, you mean or our the shirt? Barbecue the barbecue shirt. shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put. Guys, I had two shots, remember? <laughs> <laughs> barbecue, frock it. Wow. wow. So let's give one of those away. 
Let's do both the we you Let's need do that. yep both these. these you need the sour mix to make the drink. Let's do a full line dirty girl full and a line. Crazy. Nice. Yeah, Ooh. let's get St. Patty started for y'all. Yeah. What do you think about instead of just this, we do the whole we'll sauce, do rub, rub and sauce. sauce bundle, a whole rub and sauce bundle, the whole dirty girl line, wow. and a barbecue, barbecue shirt. shirt. Yeah, awesome. Hashtag Jordan Rep messed up. Uh, Remember, hashtag Jordan I messed have up. a story <laughs> of Jordan <laughs> Make messing sure up. That you do. You, yes. I want to hear it. Well, let's make sure hashtag Jordan messed up and also share this. Please let people know about this recipe. It's going to be delicious. I, I think wait. we're all just waiting. Yeah, I'm like holding mine. Oh, I right. want to know Jordan's messed up story. Well, y'all remember that time on barbecue when my mic I'm pack wasn't working? It. If anybody wants theirs. Yeah, Jordan forgot to hit the on switch. <laughs> oh, it's Jordan's fault. Jordan messes up. Hey. That's cheers. the production manager. Cheers. This looks cheers, amazing. Cheers. 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 This all. looks so good. Get in, look at that. It's like perfect, mm. right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, after this, we're at Twitter to, or no, we're, yeah, we're at Twitter. Yeah. I'm thinking of Tuesday Tweets, which is yesterday. You should definitely tune into that. But wow. we're on Twitter with Jordan live right here, <laughs> stuffing our faces. We never stop stuffing our faces. <laughs> this is so good. And then he'll go over everything. I still think he needs to do a pre-show. I'm The post-show is just us stuffing our faces. The pre-show is where the, what's well, like, what you got? What are we doing? You, you got the real drama. set, like <laughs> high drama. Y'all don't want to miss it. Or you can watch Shannon eat. People are crying. What do you want, <laughs> guys? Put in the comment section. You want a pre-show or after-show with Twitter? <laughs> okay. Good. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna dig in. While yeah, she's talking. Good. Yeah, it good. Oh. Head on over to Twitter, but guys, catch us live. The rest of this week, we got some great Irish recipes. This one turned out great. What do y'all think? Yeah, it's really good. Super just easy a, for good. Just kids. a twist mm -hmm. on bangers and mash. But, guys, that's it for us. We hope that you enjoyed the show. Make sure to tune in next week. we got another great Irish recipe for St. Patty's mm -hmm. Day. And guess what? We'll see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech.